hello viewers welcome to my channel uh, today's topic is uh, what is silogram and uh, but before starting this topic i would like to request you to like subscribe and share these videos to support this channel and if you need more information about any disease any medical condition you can visit my website which is www.diseasesandtreatment.com and the link is in the description area just below this video you know now I come to the topic what is silogram you know silogram is uh, a test that your doctor can use to diagnose uh, blocked salivary glands you know or the ducts uh, in your mouth and the procedure uses the uh, x-rays it is also called uh, uh, pateogram you know you know your salivary glands are located on each side of your face and uh, you have three pairs of uh, major salivary glands they are uh, parotid glands which are the largest one and they are located inside each cheek you know and they are above your jaw in front of your ears you know and uh, then uh, submandibular glands they are below uh, the jaw bone on both sides of the jaw you know and uh, then the sublingual glands uh, on the bottom of the mouth you know under the tongue you know so these are the three major types of the uh, salivary glands now the salivary glands release saliva into the mouth through the salivary ducts you know and uh, a free flow of saliva to the mouth is important for digestion and uh, general oral health you know now we need to understand what are the functions of the saliva you know you know the saliva uh, adds moisture to food when it enters the mouth you know and the moisture helps with the chewing and the swallowing you know and uh, it also helps to prevent choking you know and the enzymes in the saliva initiate uh, the digestion process before you swallow the food you know and the saliva also work to keep your mouth clean keep it moist and uh, it helps uh, to wash bacteria and food particles away you know and the uh, moisture from the saliva also helps to keep oral appliances such as uh, dentures and the retainers secure in your mouth you know uh, the next thing is why this test known as the silogram is performed so why do doctors order this test you know what's the purpose you know your doctor can use this test to evaluate the blockages in the salivary duct or the salivary gland you know and your doctor may recommend uh, this test if you have one of the symptoms uh, which i'm going to tell you like uh, uh, dry mouth you know or a constant abnormal or the foul taste from the mouth or uh, inability to fully open your mouth you know and discomfort or pain when you open your mouth mouth pain face pain swelling on your jaws in front of your ears you know and the swelling of the face or the neck you know so in that case your doctor will uh, recommend this test you know and uh, these symptoms occur in salivary glands uh, they can be the result of uh, like infections maybe uh, salivary duct stones maybe salivary duct infections maybe oral cancer and other types of cancer you know and sarcoidosis uh, sarcoidosis is uh, a condition uh, in which the patches of the inflammation occur throughout the body you know and uh, Jogren's syndrome you know which is an autoimmune disorder so, so uh, and uh, it causes dry mouth and uh, dry eyes you know now salivary gland tumors are rare and uh, they occur most often in uh, parotid gland you know and the growth slowly increase in size expanding uh, the gland you know uh, uh, you know you should tell your doctor uh, before the test if uh, you have like contrast or iodine allergy you know and uh, you may need medication to prevent an allergic reaction during the test or after the test you know and if you're taking any prescription medications or over-the-counter medications tell your doctor and uh, if you're pregnant even then you need to tell your doctor you know because x-rays are used in this uh, procedure you know so if uh, your doctor gives you a sedative to, to uh, 
take at home you know you won't be able to drive yourself to the procedure you know so uh, you should arrange any transportation you know to save transportation from home to hospital and then from hospital to home you know and there's no other preparation is typically necessary for the cytochrome it's non-invasive test you know now it is normally an outpatient procedure and it typically takes place in the radiology department of the hospital or clinic you know and the procedure typically takes about 30 minutes and it may take longer uh, in case where the duct opening is difficult to locate you know and your doctor or the x-ray technician will perform the test you know and they will give you like a germ killing mouthwash so they may give you a sedative to help you remain calm you know and the stronger sedation may be necessary if you are unable to remain steady you know and if you lie on your back uh, you know you will on the table you next know, table you know and you will have to open your mouth very wide so uh, no numbing agent is used so the procedure causes uh, only minimal discomfort you know and uh, they will take x-rays and this will show if there are any stones that might prevent the contrast material or dye from entering to the duct you know, and reaching to the gland you know. so they will uh, place a small uh, flexible tool which is known as catheter in the opening of the salivary duct you know and uh, they uh, may ask you to uh, hold that tube in place you know and then the technician will inject the contrast material into the duct and you may experience like pressure and some discomfort you know and uh, after the dye fills the salivary glands it will be visible by the x-rays you know and uh, your doctor may need to examine your salivary gland from different angles so you may have to turn your head in different directions you know, multiple times you know and you may be uh, may need to like hold your breath typically um, uh, 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 like in typical x-rays you know periodically you know sometimes you know and uh, but uh, your technician or doctor will tell you in advance to hold the breath you know and this helps uh, to stay still for the x-ray images you know and uh, uh, this way you can uh, uh, get the good quality x-rays you know or the images you know and uh, they may give you lemon juice to increase the amount of saliva in your mouth you know and uh, they will take the additional images to observe how your saliva drains into your mouth okay the next thing is what to expect after the test you know you know once it's complete you know uh, the contrast material will drain into your mouth and uh, they may instruct you to like uh, uh, massage your salivary glands you know and this will aid in draining the dye and the dye may taste bitter you know but it's safe to swallow okay and after your cell uh, uh, silogram uh, uh, you can return home and you can return to your normal activities for the rest of the day you know uh, it's a uh, you know cellogram will expose uh, you to the minimally uh, minimal amounts of the radiations you know so if you are pregnant you should tell your doctor you know and uh, is minimally invasive technique but it carries small risk of uh, damage or puncture to the salivary duct you know maybe swelling and maybe tenderness as well you know and infection is very rare so there is no major complication or the risk factors associated you know and uh, uh, you know if you have the soreness or pain that continues after the 24 hours you should contact your doctor or if there is swelling or bleeding of the salivary duct you know or fever or chills in that case you should consult your doctor you know now next thing is about the results you know now, a radiologist will interpret the images from your test you know and uh, they will send the report to the doctor and uh, if the tests are abnormal they will indicate uh, like narrowing of the salivary ducts infection or the inflammation of the salivary gland stones in the salivary ducts and the tumor in the salivary glands you know and the blockages are the tumors may require further investigation 
and follow-up tests on your affected glands and the doctors may be include like ultrasound or MRI scan or CT scan you know and uh, it may be repeat uh, uh, like uh, uh, this test you know a silogram you know and maybe uh, another test uh, which is known as a, a silo endoscope and biopsy may be involved you know and in case of uh, silo endoscopy uh, your doctor will use a tiny camera to see inside the salivary glands you know okay so these are the tests which uh, will be further uh, to uh, diagnose or uh, uh, further uh, investigation if needed you know so they will recommend you these tests you know thank you very much for watching this video if you need more information about any disease any medical condition you can visit my website which is www.diseasesandtreatment.com thank you and good luck